Hi everyone, welcome back to Karen at tillycrafts.co.uk. I hope this is filming all right. <laughs> Just have to keep having a look to see what you can see. Um, today I'm bringing you a quick card. Uh, well, it's not a card, it's a, a calendar. This is one I received on uh, one of our Pootler's team days. And it's a little calendar for next year. And it's so straightforward and easy to do so I thought I'd do a few. Um, the lady that made me this was uh, Pam Campbell and it was one of our swaps so I've done something similar. Right just bear with me one minute. Not not getting there quite with this uh, IT stuff but we'll get there eventually. Right these are the ones I've made. And they all stand up like that. That's one. And two. This is one of my favourites, this purple one. This is for one of my friends at work because she loves purple too. And the other bird one. So I'm going to show you how to make one of the bird ones today. All right. Well, like I say, they are so straightforward and simple. Um, I will have all the details on my blog when I post the video. So, I've already pre-cut everything because I want it to be a short video so I don't go ramble on and on. So, we start off with a piece of cardstock that is 7 inches by 3.5 inches. It's scored at three and a half and one and three quarters. So we just need to give those a quick burnish like that. This one you fold inwards. Now that's your scoring done. And then for your layer, this is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then a piece of DSP, which is three inches by three inches. I've chosen to use the Bird Ballad set because I love all the papers on this. And I'll just show you in the catalogue. Oh, there it is. This is the Bird Ballad suite. So you get <clears throat> this lovely paper, double sided. I've made quite a few projects out of this. Um, and then you get also get the stamp set here which is brilliant for using your blends and colouring in. And I've used the sentiment, your friendship means the world to me out of there. Right. I'm just getting to the page where my punch is on because I keep forgetting what's called what. There we go. <clears throat> and I've used Petal Pink and Pool Party because these coordinate with the colours in here. And on, and I've used this sheet of paper uh, to fussy cut out my birds. But I didn't want you to sit there and watch me because it would probably take me ages. So, first thing, use my snail. Little dots everywhere. Are you all nearly ready for Christmas? I'm not. <laughs> Still got loads to do. I'm usually dead organised and for some reason this year I'm way behind. I always use um like to use the Tombow on here to stick card on card because it gives a firmer finish than just using tear and tape. And then on here just line it up. Try to line it up at the top first because then, oops, and this is the thing about Tombow, you can wiggle it if you don't put it on quite straight, which I have problems doing. There we go, and that's your top bit made. It just folds up like that. Right, four, there it is, there it is. My calendar, I got these off of, I think it was eBay, you get a massive big pack. 
um, so they're really good to buy and it's a nice little gift for somebody to bob in with a card uh, for this I'm just using a bit of tear and tape because it's really strong and I don't want the calendar coming up because it's got to last a year let's put a bit on there and a bit on there and that should hold it fast right before I get glue everywhere. Right. There we go. And then I just put that at the bottom, center it in there, leave a little bit of room, and then stick it down. And then all that happens then is that will sit behind that, and we just need to decorate the front. For this, I've got, like I said, I fussy cut out the birds, so I'm just going to put some dimensionals on the back of these. Uh, one up there. Be a bit generous with the dimensionals. So I'm going to have that on there. I've also I pre-stamped this in Bermuda Bay. Your friendship means the world to me. And then I've got the punch. Our punches are really good strong and solid I think this is the I was going to say the everyday label punch but I might be wrong I've gone mad on punches this year I've got quite a few no the timeless label punch this is where I get confused that's the everyday label it's timeless label punch it's one of the new ones just got, stamped it on a bit of scrap white just line it up some more words, all right. There we go. That's that done. And for this, if you can see on these, I've just like gone round the edge with a bit of ink. I tried doing it with my ink pad. I've seen it done with ink pads where you just go along the edge, but I seem to make a massive mess with it. So for it, I've decided to use my stamping blend. So I've got the light Bermuda Bay, and all I'm doing is just going round, running it round the edge. Because normally I'd layer it up onto a, a Bermuda Bay backing, but I just thought it's just too much on a, a little thing on a little project. So and then a couple of dimensionals on here. Oops. So because they're sat on a branch, I'm going to put this just at the bottom there take these off all the details of this will be on my blog at tillycrafts.co.uk on one of my showcase Wednesdays uh, I'm going to pop it on there and I'll add some of the pictures to uh, Pinterest and that one last thing is rhinestones. Can't do anything without rhinestones. So these are the basic jewel rhinestones, which I love them. So I'm just going to pop a big one on there. Pop a medium one down there. And then a little one up there. And that's it done. Quick and easy to make. So simple. And it just brightens up your desk if you have I've uh, I've had I've got this one from Pam to take to work. I've got one that I got from somebody last year, and it's just a nice little bright and cheery thing to look at on your desk when you're having a bad Monday. Right, I hope you've enjoyed those. Thank you for joining me. Speak to you all soon. Bye.